Hey guys, this is the 650 km update review of the MCM5. Recently I went to the Netherlands to see some friends and I met with Lars who is a viewer of the Speedy Feed videos and he let me use his MCM5 whilst I was there for one evening. But as you saw we were stopped by the police so very quickly I had to get off the MCM5 and just continue walking until I got back to the train station. One thing about the Netherlands that I didn't know is that you need a special permit to actually ride a unicycle but because I'm not Dutch I don't have it. But Lars did have one so he was able to ride the MCM5 whilst I was walking. Anyway everything was fine and it's just a really nice story to tell about my time being arrested in the Netherlands. Whilst Ian is testing the wheels riding off-road in the forest, I'm predominantly riding in an urban environment, so mostly on pavements and roads. In the initial review of the MCM5, when Ian did a range test on this beautiful wheel, he did it winter time and he was really pushing it, so he was able to get about 15 miles. But because it, it was summer, I decided to do a range test myself and I was riding the wheel like I would ride on a normal day. So I was able to get 26 miles out of it, which was quite a bit more than the initial test, but I was riding mostly on flat surfaces and I wasn't really going very fast. So despite me being much heavier than Ian, weighing at around 92 kilograms, I was able to get more range because it was warmer, I wasn't going very fast and I wasn't off-roading. What I can say about this wheel is that it has been working perfectly fine for me. I haven't had any issues and actually really enjoy using it. As you can see, it has a lot of marks and scuffs and scratches, mostly because of me, but still nothing, nothing is broken apart from the, I guess, the aesthetics. But I kind of like how it looks because it has, a, it has a history to it which just makes it way more interesting than if it's, it was a brand new shiny wheel. Mostly I'm comparing this wheel to the Kingston 16S because that was my previous wheel and also they're fairly similar in some regards. And what I can say is that this wheel is slightly trickier to do tricks especially if you don't have any pads. But if you ride around town it's perfectly fine. I really like that it's very easy to maneuver but also it has a lot of power. As you can see in the clip, Ian goes up, up this very steep hill, no problem, and he goes down again with ease. So this is a solid wheel, but because of the 14-inch tire and the low foot plates, this is a more challenging wheel to go off-road with. Yeah, you can do off-road with this wheel, but it's not a very pleasant experience, so I definitely recommend actually getting a, a bigger wheel with maybe an 18-inch tire. And talking about the foot plates, I have a, a love-hate relationship with them. I love how easy you can just flick them with your foot and, and they fall down and you can just hop on the wheel and just go. What I hate about them is that they're sometimes too easy to fall down. If you're pushing this wheel along and you're on uneven surface, when you hit a bump or a hole, the foot plates just fall by themselves and you can smack your ankle in them, which is not, not nice.
Another thing that I had to get used to was the lift sensor. It's great that you can just pick up the wheel and just go up the stairs. But the problem that I was having was that sometimes my fingers would slip off the sensor and the wheel would just start turning and spinning. But I was able to improve my grip a little bit. I got the knack of it. So now when I'm going one flight of stairs, I have no problems. But because I live on the third floor and that's a lot of stairs, what I do is just switch off the machine and I just carry it upstairs like that. Just because I'm finding the handle a bit slippery. Another thing that I use a lot is actually the trolley handle. And I've been quite happy with it. I haven't had any issues. Because when I'm at the train station, I can't ride the wheel and it's a bit too heavy to carry it for a if you have to change platforms. So with the trolley handle, I can just push it along, no problem whatsoever. Another thing that could be better is the front light. It's perfectly fine, like it works, no problem, but it's not as powerful as some of the other wheels, especially when I compare it with other wheels at work, like the K16X and the Nikola, the Z10, they all have much bigger front lights. But despite the front light not being very powerful, it's still, decent so it will get the job done but if it was more powerful that would be much appreciated when i first started using this wheel um, because i don't really play around with changing the light mode or using the app or anything like that i just use the wheel i just ride it that's it what I was missing, compared to the King Song wheels, when they're st stood still, you can see the battery meter on the side. And this thing doesn't have a side ring, so I couldn't really see the battery percentage. But I was, I was messing about. I was able to set the wheel on a light mode that actually shows me the percentage of battery. So there is the LED ring that just goes around. But what I was able to do is by changing I think to the second light mode I still have the rainbow light going around but it stops at the top of the machine and the front side of the ring shows the battery percentage so now when I'm riding along I can just look down and see the battery percentage pretty much straight away and then I can decide whether I can continue riding or I would need to charge it. If you are on the default light mode but you want to switch it to the one that shows you the battery here what you do is um, this button, you just press it once, twice, three times, and now you see the battery percentage, a rough, rough estimate, but still you will have the rainbow light going around the, the top of the unicycle. And this is, this is the light mode that I'm currently using when I'm riding along, because I can easily check how much battery I have left. In summary, I'm really happy with the MCM5. Because I'm riding in the city, I like the size of the tire because it's very maneuverable. And because I live on the third floor, when I go home, I really appreciate having a lighter wheel because having an 18 inch wheel or even something like the monster on the wall, that's such a, it's a brilliant wheel, goes fast, has a massive range, but it's so heavy. And for me, I spend a big chunk of my time actually not riding the wheel, but just pushing it along or carrying it up and down the stairs. So for me, I need something that's lighter. And the MCM5 is pretty much the perfect wheel for that scenario. It's great to have a massive range, but day to day I do only three or four miles. So the battery in the MCM5 is pretty much the ideal size for me. And if you want a bigger range, you need to put a bigger battery and that makes the wheel so much heavier. Because as a last mile commuter, I care about speed and range much less than most people because I, I need a wheel that's light and portable. The next MCM5 video will be the final one 
and I have something special in mind, so definitely stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching the video and I really hope that these follow-up reviews are helpful so you can see how the wheel is performing throughout a longer period of time. So if you like our videos and you want to support us, uh, you can sign up to be our Patreon and that will really help us to make better videos because we have some brilliant ideas but they require quite a lot of money to actually make. Because we want to do more than just video reviews, we want to do some fun stuff, kind of like top gear but with unicycles like that like a massive scale and as a patron you would be the first one to see when we release a new video but if you can buy a wheel from us or support us on patreon you can still help us by liking this video subscribing sharing following us on social media because that will help us to reach more people